Welcome back to Celebrity Stars in Their Eyes. Now, our second guest has spent most evenings being terrified for our entertainment. She's always on the lookout for strange voices from the past, so she should be right at home behind these doors. Here's Celebrity Star number two. Hi, my name is Yvette Fielding, and this is Most Haunted. <laughs> Well, I've come to Summerleighton Hall in Suffolk. Now, apparently, this place is supposed to be riddled with paranormal activity. This is a first for the team, a haunted maze. Imagine being lost here at night and bumping into a large, dark shape. We're going to have a bit of a problem getting out of here, and it's daylight. <laughs> so what's it going to be like at 3 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to be pooping my pants. I've been in many haunted houses, some of them absolutely terrifying. I've witnessed the most awful things. I've screamed the place down, but I have to say, hand on heart, what I'm about to do on Stars in Their Eyes is the most scariest thing I have ever done. I really want to keep this piece of footage to show my children and grandchildren and go, look at mummy, look what she did. I just think it's amazing, and it's an amazing uh, thing to actually do. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited and yet terrified at the same time. It's into the spooky smoke again for Yvette Fielding. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm really good, thank you. Now, you must tell me about Most Haunted, because I had no idea it was all your own. Yeah, it was really strange. We just uh, got a, a friend came over and sort of said, I've been to this really frightening place. So we just decided to use all our savings, all our, our, our money that we'd saved up for years. And I don't know why, but we just thought this is a really good idea. We spent the night in a haunted um, place, eventually sold it as a programme idea, and it's just gone through the roof. It has. It's just gone up and yeah. up and up. What's the, what's the scariest situation you found yourself in? Well, Scott Mills, uh, the show on Radio 1, yeah, they decided yeah. to come along to a place called the Golden Fleece in York, and we were all in a room. And I'm there with a the night vision camera, Scott Mills is over there and Chappers um, is with him. They're kneeling over there, sound man is, is quite a way away, and I hear this, ha, 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 in my right ear, so close, and I just, bam, bam, really quickly like that. And there was no one there. And I said to Scott, please, please, please tell me it was you. And I started to cry. And he thought I was acting, you know, sort of to, to scare him. Yeah, yeah. So we all run downstairs and listen back to the recording. And it's there. You hear a man going, <laughs> on my microphone. I don't think I could ever do your show, though. I'd be just so frightened. You would, you would. Well, yeah, you would. You would be frightened. But I think... How do you fancy mm. coming and spending the night with me in one of Britain's most haunted locations? Can I have your clues, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just give you clues? Of That's all I want. OK, the person who I'm going to be tonight, um, she was born on Christmas Day in Aberdeen. Um, she was in a band where her partner was also very famous, and his name was Dave Stewart. Um, and she was also very well known for her very uh, trendy and colourful, very short haircuts. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Annie Lennox. Annie Lennox. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> Singing No More I Love You live in that fielding is Annie Lennox.
together for our dancers because how fab were they? <laughs> what was your biggest worry about the whole thing? Um, gosh, it was so difficult because she's such an amazing singer and I did say, please don't give me a slow song and please don't give me anything with high notes. No! <laughs> that, that first note at the beginning is really difficult. Yeah, it is really, really hard. But yeah. you pulled it off. Oh, and know. you looked incredible. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Yvette Fielding as Annie Lennox. We've been trying to persuade our next star to take this stage for years now, but it wasn't until his GMTV co-presenter threw down the gaunt letters, Debbie Harry, that he decided to follow her through these doors. You've never seen him like this before. It's celebrity star number three. Hello there, I'm Eamon Holmes. You may catch me of a morning on GMTV, and this is where I work. I've been here 13 years now. Uh, I suppose it was the sort of telly that I was trained for. So from that point of view, it's the perfect show. The bad thing about it is it'd be much better if it was on seven o'clock in the evening instead of seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, here you are. This is behind the scenes. This is the sort of bridge of our Starship Enterprise and uh, all these screens are different sources and uh, come seven o'clock in the morning, I'm on that one. Unless I've slept in. Stars and Eyes is just one of those legendary programmes that I think it's a great privilege to be asked to take part. Um, whether it would be a great privilege hearing me sing, I somehow doubt it. Well, when Eamon told me he was going to be on the show, I just thought, you fool, as if he hasn't got enough going on in his life already. Plus, the man can't sing. I'll give you a big tip, Mr Eamon. Don't go on stars in their eyes. <laughs> as long as I have a laugh and as long as um, people watching don't laugh too much, then I think it'll be a result. It'll be fine. <laughs> Joining the jet set again, here's Eamon Holmes. <laughs> Evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm OK. I'm, 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 I think so. OK. Now, I'm all smiley and lovely now. Yes, you home. are. But... I have a bit of a bone to pick with you. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know when you come on Stars, yeah. you are not meant to tell anybody who you're meant to be. Seriously. You know that though, didn't you? What? Somebody told you well, that. No didn't one they? told me. No one. <laughs> Stay there. Oh dear. <laughs> you're very attractive like that. <laughs> Eamon Holmes, you have been accused of divulging secret information contrary to the rules of stars in their eyes. No. How do you plead? Not guilty, Kat. It couldn't have been me. Your Honour, on behalf of the prosecution, may I present Exhibit A, Roll VT. We have a show here called Stars in Their Eyes, and I am very shortly going to be... Jo I can read this exclusively. Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Ring of fire. Holmes. Which bit of do not tell anybody do you not understand? Are you sure that was me, not somebody in person? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty! <laughs> Come on, we might as well play along. You haven't along. heard me sing yet. We might as well play along for the rest. Come on. Give us your clues. Well, he's a man. <laughs> he's American. <laughs> he's the man in black. Tonight, Cat, I am going to be... Johnny Cash! Right, clear off. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Singing Ring of Fire live, Big Mouth Eamon Holmes is Johnny Cash! Love is 
a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down Flames went higher and it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire, the ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down Those flames, they got higher How does this compare to Penny Smith being Blondie? Penny was much better. Do you think? Anybody would be much better. <laughs> That's not true. Have you enjoyed it? I've enjoyed dressing up. It's nice to get away from being me. <laughs> it's been lovely. Have you had a nice time? I've had a lovely time. Can I keep the wig? Yeah, I, I quite to, like I it. I used to have hair like that. Did you? Yeah, 20 years ago. Don't stand too close to those, otherwise you won't have anything uh, ladies and gentlemen, Eamon Holmes as Johnny Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. So lovely. Now, uh, stay right where you are because still to come, we've got an overexcited radio DJ and an old friend of the doors. See you soon.